And we begin right now at 4.30 with the very latest on a Margate firefighter who is now facing some serious charges after a Super Bowl block party shooting. The first responder turned suspect faced a judge today. Local 10 is live in Cooper City to tell us what happened in court. Alex Finney, fill us in. All right, so these cars just apparently came speeding through this Cooper City neighborhood. The lieutenant, when he contacted police, said this didn't happen just once. It happened twice. And as his attorney explained in court today, all of that mixed with the uncertainty as to what would happen next is what caused him to pull out that gun and fire his weapon. Margate Fire Lieutenant Lorne Brown, who's been with the department since 2004, went before a judge on Friday. Detectives believe Lorne shot into a moving car, the bullet hitting the driver, Simeon Brown. A fragment went up to my neck. This happened Super Bowl Sunday in Cooper City. Corone Brown, his brother, as well as his girlfriend and another woman, tell Local 10 they were on their way home and drove around traffic cones near Southwest 91st Terrace and 52nd Street, where a block party was happening. Neighbors became angry. And then what happened next? They saw the car and like ambushed the car. Took them by surprise. And so my brother starts to drive and as he starts to drive, the dude let off two shots into the car. That dude they're referring to, Lieutenant Brown, who they say then chased them down on foot. Any comment from you guys about what we no learned today? Family saying nothing. His attorney saying this. It appears to be a traditional application of stand your ground. In court saying the lieutenant was concerned for his and the neighbor's safety. And the fact that there are those out there that are making suggestions that this was somehow racially motivated disturbs him greatly. All right, and this is what the attorney was saying in court. You're seeing here, it's a very quiet neighborhood. It's, it's filled with a lot of children, so there was a concern there. Uh, apparently, uh, the lieutenant also, he's very nervous for his family right now. Uh, they've been getting some threats on social media. Of course, both sides to this story, still a lot to be unpacked here. But what I can tell you is that Lorna, Lorna does face charges of attempted first degree murder, as well as shooting into a vehicle, an aggravated assault with a firearm. At this hour, he is being held without bond. We are live in Cooper City. Alex Finney, Local 10 News.